Hi, I'm Desiree Abbott, one of the observatory volunteers here at Chabot Space and Science Center. One fun way to learn astronomy is to make a 3D model of astronomical features, like the Earth-Moon system, the solar system, or even an entire constellation. Making a 3D model will help you visualize how astronomical objects like moons, planets, or stars are related to each other out in space. Here at Chabot, on our observatory deck just behind me, we have a great example of a 3D model. Ours will show you the relationship of stars in the Big Dipper. But before I tell you more about the 3D model, let's talk a little more about the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is not a constellation. It's what astronomers call an asterism, which is a pattern of stars that looks like a familiar object. The Big Dipper is made up of a group of stars within the constellation Ursa Major, the Big Bear. Ursa Major is in the northern sky, and when it's well above the horizon, you can easily see the bright stars of the Big Dipper, even in the light polluted skies over cities. One of the cool things about the Big Dipper is that you can use it to find Polaris, the North Star. These two stars on the bowl of the Dipper are called the Pointer Stars because they mark a line that points right at the North Star. So now let's take a look at our 3D model of the Big Dipper. Our model begins here at the viewing station on the observation deck. When you look at the Big Dipper in the sky at night, it looks something like this. When you look through the viewport on our exhibit, you see the same pattern of stars, although in our model we've made the stars much bigger, so they're easier to see. When you look at the Big Dipper this way, whether in the sky, in a planetarium, or through the viewport in our model, it looks like all the stars are the same distance away, as if they were projected onto a screen. But the real stars in the Big Dipper are not all the same distance away. The closest is about 78 light years away, while the farthest is about 124 light years away. Our 3D model will give you a sense for how the Big Dipper would look if you could fly around it in space. To do that, we walk from the observation deck up the ramp to Chabot's 36 inch telescope called Nelly. About halfway along the ramp, there's a second viewing station. And from here, you see the Big Dipper looks completely different. The stars are not all the same distance from the first viewing station. They're scattered at different distances. The same thing is true for the real stars in the Big Dipper. Now, our model was made by extending cables from the first viewing station, stretching them in the right direction to match the star pattern as seen from the Earth. We then attach these orange balls at the right distance along the cables. Your model doesn't have to be so big, and it doesn't even have to be the Big Dipper. You can make a 3D model of the solar system in your bedroom, or a model of the constellation Orion in your backyard. You'll need to do some research to learn the actual distances and then scale those actual distances to the much shorter distances you'll need for your model. For example, if the actual distances between stars are measured in light years, you can convert light years to centimeters for your model. You can also go to Chabot's website and download a Constellation 3D model guide. Whatever you choose to model and however you choose to make it, your 3D model will help you learn astronomy and you'll have fun while you're at it.